This Seattle Seahawks backfield is one that a lot of people are having trouble deciphering through. You know, Rashad Penny versus Kenneth Walker, which one's going to emerge as the top option? Who should I be drafting first in fantasy football? And I'm just going to break down the positives and negatives between each. You know, you start off with Rashad Penny, this fantastic prospect coming out of San Diego State. Um, we saw that on full display, by the way, last year, where Penny ranked first in breakaway run rate, yards after contact per attempt, and yards per touch amongst all running backs. He was absolutely fantastic, and it's why we dubbed him probably the best league winner in fantasy football last year, because towards the end of the season, he was averaging about 20 points per game, finished as a top three option at the running back position. Yeah, so towards the end of the year, he was absolutely winning you games when you could have scooped him up off the waiver wire at the midpoint of the year. But then there's Kenneth Walker, who in his own right is also this fantastic running back prospect. This dude who was arguably the best pure runner in last year's draft. He was my personally ranked RB2. He was fantastic at Michigan State. And it led to him being selected in the second round. There's no doubt about it. Walker can step in day one and kind of own a backfield, especially from a rushing standpoint. He's going to compete with Rashad Penny, and he's going to demand some sort of volume in this offense. Now, this is a bit of a, uh, it's a, obviously a negative for Rashad Penny is the injury history, which is a positive for Kenneth Walker. Rashad Penny has missed 43% of his potential regular season games. In his four-year NFL career, he has never, never, never once played an entire NFL season. So again, for Kenneth Walker, that's great because if this trend continues with Rashad Penny and he misses time, Walker takes over as the unquestioned starter in this backfield. But there are also negatives for both these guys because I said I'd go over both the positives and the negatives. Uh, neither of them catch passes. Rashad Penny has never averaged more than 1.2 targets per game or 12 total targets on a season. Never. This dude just doesn't produce out of the backfield when it comes to the receiving game. And we can assume that'll probably be the same for Kenneth Walker, who had a sub-6% college target share at Michigan State, which historically suggests that he's not going to do very much at all in the NFL as a receiver. That receiving role will be honed in by DJ Dallas or Travis Homer, one of those two. It won't be Penny or Walker catching very many passes out of this backfield for the Seahawks, which, in theory is going to make them fairly touchdown dependent. And again, they're very good runners, but remember the nature of the offense they're in. The Seahawks ranked last in offensive plays last year, and without Russell Wilson, they're going to rank towards the bottom of the league in scoring and red zone opportunities this season. So when it comes to deciphering who will finish first in this backfield, I think it's totally hinges on Rashad Penny's injury history, and I can't predict injuries. Now, if you want to bet on Rashad Penny, because he's slated to be this team's RB1, according to multiple reports, and I believe it. I think week one, you'll see Penny uh, be the RB1 in this backfield. So if you want to bet on those reports and hope that Penny stays healthy, take him first. But if you want to bet against Penny's injury history, which again, it's scary. He's missed 43% of his potential games that he could have played. You take Kenneth Walker. You're assuming Penny's going to miss some time in, in, in theory, uh, not in theory, but to counteract that, Walker would obviously take over this entire backfield. But my main pre premise, you're saying, Aiden, you're not making a choice. Personally, uh, I'd rank Walker slightly higher. But it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. Because if I was to take one of these two guys, I'd just take whoever is cheaper, which fluctuates on a draft-to-draft -draft basis. Their ADPs are really neck and neck. I think both these guys just belong in the same tier, to be completely honest with you. And ultimately, what I'm trying to get at, I'm not drafting either. I'm not drafting either one of these guys. Rashad Penny, when healthy, is going to be still splitting work with Kenneth Walker in one of the league's worst offenses, and remember that Penny does not catch passes. And then with Kenneth Walker, sure, he could be a nice value if Rashad Penny gets hurt, which still is no guarantee, and even if he does get hurt, is he only missing two games? Like, Does that really add a ton of value? To Walker's, you know, ADP and his status right now in fantasy football, not really. It's tough to project injury. Um, and even when he is the starter in the unquestioned number one in this backfield, that'll be nice and that'll be good. But remember, that is an if statement if Rashad Penny gets hurt. And he's not catching passes. And this team is going to be one of the worst offenses in the league. I, I just hammered those points home a couple times. I'm sorry if that was a little repetitive, but you need to remember it. So ultimately, again, 
They belong in the same tier. If I'm going to take one, it's whoever's cheaper. But so far throughout this offseason, I've ended up with pretty much zero shares of the Seahawks backfield uh, for the reasons I just stated. And it's as simple as that. When it comes to the Rashad Penny versus Kenneth Walker, don't even make the choice. Don't. Keep an open eye if one of them really falls. But if their draft positions stay relatively similar to where their ADPs are currently at, I'm not taking either in fantasy football this year. I'm Aiden Mayer. Subscribe to our TWSN Patreon page. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have content coming like, out like this all the time. And going back to our Patreon page, it's a worthwhile investment for everybody involved. I mean, just our team does an awesome, 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 amazing job. You're going to make yourself some money. The link is in the description. I'll see you guys next time.